Yeah, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's Chris here. Um, hold on. This is not professional. Me use my professional voice. <clears throat> hey, everybody. What's going on? So today I'm going to show you guys how I made $1,200 cleaning oriental rugs and carpets. Um, this is very simple. It's very easy. Anybody can do it if you have the right equipment. So I'm going to show you basically how I got it done and give you a few tips and tricks on how to clean your carpet if you want to clean your carpet, guys. So first off, please have a clean space to clean it. Um, I have a tarp here that I'm going to use as my working stations to get that done. So these are two of the rugs I got laid out. Um, depending on the rug, uh, the cipher is which type of way we're going to clean it. So I want to show you a couple of ways. If the carpet has a lot of um, stains, urine, or something, a bunch of spills that's saturated into the carpet, you want to lay that carpet up on a fence or something or get some type of hanger and hang it and then just rinse it from top to bottom repeatedly. Just go over a bunch of times. I'll say I've done this about 15 minutes on both sides of the carpet. Um, so that way all the chemicals and all the pet urine and all that stuff just runs out of it. And that depends on, like I said, the carpet that you're doing. Second, if the carpet isn't that bad, um, you would just go to a steam clean, uh, I guess after you pre-treat it. But in this case, this carpet had a lot of hair on it and I don't want to fill up my carpet machine full of hair, so we're gonna go ahead and just vacuum it. Um, like I said, each carpet is, uh, each carpet, each rug is a little bit different on how you start it and how you finish it. But these are just a few ways that we got this thing done. All right, yeah. So when you when you washing down the rug, you feel me? Uh, you gotta make sure you got it laying down right. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm professional again. Yeah. So when you're rinsing down the rug, you guys will just make sure that it's hanging up um, vertical, so that way all the water can um, seep down and rinse down onto the, the floor if you're doing it outside, hopefully. And um, hope we're not doing it inside the house because that's not gonna be a good thing. So right here we got a pre-treat or the pre-solution. Basically, it's the greaser and a little special chemical that we use to pre the carpet before we clean it. So this breaks up all the dirt, grease. It's, I want to say it's similar to like a soap um, solution, but it's a pre-treat because you got to mix up a few chemicals um, to get, you know, the carpet ready before you start cleaning it. So got that rug sprayed. It's another big rug we have here. I think we have seven big area rugs. I think this is about 11 by 14 rug. Um, I got a couple of fans that's drying this rug now and make oh yeah make sure you guys have some fans with you because you're gonna need some fans to get these rugs dry so now this is the gun this is a hot water extraction machine aka the steam cleaning machine that we use um to basically clean the carpet um it shoots out steam and sucks it back up <laughs> that's basically how that works very plain and simple so, so this is pre-treated already um i'm gonna show you guys another way to get this carpet clean so if the carpet's real bad and you got a lot of heavy traffic or a lot of real hard to clean stains, um, you want to use an orbital scrubber. That's basically what this is. This has a brush on the bottom of it that spins in orbit, <laughs> in circles, and um, apply some carpet solution. I think it's called, um, what was it? Um, carpet shampoo in a solution. And it sprays out and it will scrub repeatedly as you're using the machine. So see how it's going back and forth. You want to work one year at a time. And then normally, like I said, depending on how bad that rug is, sometimes doing just this alone is enough. And then sometimes you gotta do this and then use steam clean. So I'm using steam clean now. After I do the scrub, got the steam clean and I'm just going over real slow, taking your time. Uh, Cause this, you can't see it in the video, but it's had a lot of dark spots. Like people had shoes from outside and just walked all over the place. So that's how we're gonna get this one done. Yeah guys, this was a very, 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 very busy day. Um, this is Saturday. Obviously I'm off on weekends for my regular job. Um, and this took all day and then Sunday because some of the jugs some of the rugs that we were watering down have to dry These drugs have to dry so we had to keep rotating them as they get dry and we'll package them and seal them and put them in a the truck to deliver um, The following day. That's also something we do We also pick them up and deliver them back to the customer and, and place them where they belong um, Once we take them up initially So for those of you who don't know um, my name is Chris this is my channel Robot TV and I've been doing cleaning for a while like it's it's been a couple years i think i've been doing cleaning um on a side or full time since i was like 12 and i picked up a lot of things here and there um that's easy to do carpet cleaning is one of those things that's very simple to do it makes a decent amount of money depending on how busy you are but i thought about doing this full time it, it makes enough to do so i just like my full-time job i just like the job <laughs> to be honest with you but um these are a few more run rugs we have to get done here. And once the rugs are finished, guys, basically you dry them. I let them dry overnight, depending on how fast they drive. Package them up. I got, them, I got some plastic here. Package them up, tape them up close. And from here, I just deliver them. And I had a bunch of, this not even, these aren't even half the rugs. I have about 20 something rugs. It's about 10 in the back and about a couple more here I gotta load, but 
This is a big day, guys. This, this is a big order to place, but they're all done. I'm gonna drop these off, guys. I do appreciate you watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm out.